Hello and welcome to the section 2 of the automated UI testing in Android video course. In this section, we are going to go through the initial sample test creation and adding initial core framework components which are going to be used across the entire course. In particular, we'll create proper structure of our tests, then we'll add configuration to adapt our tests to different environments, then we'll make some updates to show how to data drive the testing solution and, in the end, We'll add basic enhancements to make our tests runnable in parallel. So, now let's start with the first video. In this video, we'll make initial preparations for the APM web driver. After that, we'll create a sample scenario and make some small corrections to it so that uh, this sample test can be rerunnable. In the end, we'll have some very basic uh, form of test scenario and to start uh, applying framework related enhancements. For our samples, we'll take Booking.com mobile application. Before we start writing code, we need to retrieve one more resource. Appium requires application package locally. If application under test is not on the device, it should be installed from the local path. Let's imagine we've already installed application from the Play Store. We need to get the APK file for our application locally. This can be done via ADB command. Firstly, we are getting package name from the list of installed applications. Then, we are getting the path to application based on package name we found by previous command. Finally, we download our package to current location. After that, we can place our test application package into project root folder for easier reference. Now, let's start writing our first sample test. Let's create GUnit test and add before and after methods. Also, we'll let private web driver variable. In our setup method, we should initialize our web driver instance and point it to our running APM instance. The initialization code looks like this. Mainly, we need to set driver capabilities and initialize Android driver instance. Let's take a look at our capabilities we've just defined. Firstly, we defined empty value for browser, indicating that we are using native application. Then, we define Android as the platform name and the version number of the Android which is installed on target device. We should also add device ID, but we'll need that later. If we plug only one device, this parameter can be temporarily skipped. After that, we define the path to our application package. Since we put it into our project root folder, we just need to use relative path and expand it. Next parameter is the device name. Currently, it is mandatory, but uh, the actual value doesn't matter. Then, we define common timeout. Usually, it's the time we wait for any IPM common to complete. Let's set one minute by default. Next four parameters are about activities packages to start and wait for. These values correspond to the first activity which is started when we invoke the application. We can get it from APM logs. And the last flag is full reset. If it is set to true, it means that application will be reinstalled every time we start new APM session. It's quite time consuming option. On the other hand, at the moment it's the most reliable way to make sure that each time our application under test starts from the same clean state. In further videos, we'll optimize it. And, after all of those settings, we initialize our driver instance. Here, we specify the URL to the APM server. Currently, we define default value for the APM server started locally. Once we're done with the setup, we can immediately add instruction for teardown method. Mainly, we just need to quit driver session. After all that manipulations, we can start writing our sample test. Right now, we'll make a very generic test using plain WebDriver API. So, mainly, we already have WebDriver instance, so the only thing we also need is element locators. Let's start new APM session from the APM UI. We'll point to our application under test. Once it's started, we can view our application page's structure. Previous versions of APM UI had recorded options available. Current version I'm using at the moment doesn't. So, 
will mainly use it for collecting locators. So let's open our IDE and Appium UI and let's try to write test retrieving locators from Appium Inspector. So in our scenario, we'll click on station search lookup first. Here we retrieve locator for it, then tap. Then we click on input area to start typing. Now we enter the destination location text. As a result, we see the list of available options. All items have the same locator, so we just pick up first one from the list. Once we do it, we are at the date selection screen. Let's pick up today's date. Generally, it's the first text view item which has enabled attribute set to true. So we'll use the XPath expression to locate this element. Then we click on Business Radio button. And now we click on Search button. Again, we are using ID to locate elements. At the end, we need to make some verifications. Thus, we'll take results title and compare it with the station we entered before. Now we are ready to run. Right click on the file and select Run as GUnit Test. It makes some time to test to start, perform actions and complete. Now let's create test ng test to exercise the same flow on this engine. Everything can be mapped one to one. The only difference is that we should use different annotations for test methods. Now we can run the test ng test to see that nothing really changed while switching to another engine. This is it. In this video, we've created sample test. Most of the following videos would show how to apply different enhancements to it. Also, we've defined initial structure for the test.